Hey guys, back in the shop space this morning. After the first ever test drive, it became clearly apparent I needed to modify some of the human interactive controls to better fit in and drive this thing. I did move the seat back another notch, and the backrest is more upright and tucked against the body. That did help, marginally. But first and foremost, I need to address the steering wheel. As much as I love the look of this vintage GM Corvair steering wheel, the 16 and a half inch diameter takes up too much space, space I otherwise need for my legs. I ordered a couple of different steering wheels to try. One of them is a 15 inch diameter, the other is a 13 and a half inch. The 15 inch is the wheel I want to use as I like the style better, but I don't think 16 and a half to 15 inch is enough of a difference to make the necessary room. The 13 and a half will likely make enough room, but I fear it will be comically small. Let's give them a shot. You can see the GM steering wheel is occupying the same space as my legs. There is no room to properly access the shifter, and although I made it work for a test drive, there is no way this could work for long term. The bar you see coming through the body stabilizes the steering gear mount under the dash to prevent flex. Although it's a bit inconvenient, and it too eats up some interior space, it's a beneficial piece and I actually like having a little bit of metal between me and the fiberglass body. Here's the 15 inch wheel. I personally think it looks great. I really like the style of this wheel. Let's see if I fit. Unfortunately, not really. The 15 inch wheel just wasn't drastic enough of a diameter change to make the leg space. Damn it. Finally, the 13 and a half inch wheel. It doesn't look as out of place or disproportionate as I thought it might. I'm just not as in love with it as I am that 15 inch wheel. Let's find out if this one has made enough leg room. I think we have a winner. It's still tight, but totally manageable. It's even a relaxed seating position to grip the wheel. I think this one will work. However, it didn't really help much with the shifter. I still can't get my leg out of the way enough to shift gears. Now my next project will be to relocate the shifter housing somewhere. I'll have to think about that. also got another problem to resolve. With the accelerator pedal at full travel, it only moves the throttle body roughly 30% open. And on the test drive, the throttle cable mount under the car was bottoming out on the ground coming into driveways. So now I need to rethink the throttle cable mounting and the cable pull to pedal travel ratio so that 100% pedal travel equals 100% throttle opening. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check back for project updates. We'll see you next time.